Please be seated. Thank you very much. Honorable Chair Joey Conception, ASEAN Business Advisory Council, ASEAN Business Leaders, I am very pleased to meet you all. Thank you for inviting me to such an important occasion. This year marks the 50th anniversary of the establishment of ASEAN. ASEAN has continued to grow through trade and investment liberalization and has maintained peace and stability in the region through security cooperation. In late 2015, ASEAN established the ASEAN Community. As ASEAN members overcame different languages, cultures, and development gaps, the establishment of ASEAN Community is truly a valuable achievement. The establishment of the ASEAN community means the birth of massive community with a population of 630 million people, GDP of $2.5 trillion, a median age of 28, and an annual growth rate of 5%. It signifies a young market with huge potential and dynamism. ASEAN and Korea are important partners for each other. ASEAN is Korea's second largest trading partner and investment destination. Korea is also the fifth trading partner of ASEAN. But it's not just for economic reasons. Sharing similar experiences, ASEAN and Korea have stood by each other throughout history and have become friends. We have all overcome the pains of colonial dominations and are following the same path of democratization and economic growth. ASEAN countries extended their helping hands when Korea was suffering from war. During the Cold War, we had difficulties in maintaining our dignity and prosperity between the superpowers. During the Asian foreign exchange crisis, we helped each other and jointly overcame the hardship. Korean government and I pledged to be close friends of ASEAN and heighten our relation to the new level and the best we have ever had. As a first step to that end, I sent a special envoy to ASEAN immediately after taking office. And today, at this meeting, I would like to announce the Initiative for Korea ASEAN Community Connected Future, which revived the precious lessons of history into our visions. The future I'm envisioning is community of three Ps, people-centered community that connects person to person and heart to heart. The peace-loving community that contributes to the peace of Asia through security cooperation. Community of mutual prosperity which enables citizens to have better life through mutually beneficial economic cooperation. ASEAN business leaders, first, will pursue a people-centered diplomacy. My political philosophy is that people come first. It corresponds with the visions of people-oriented, people-centered community pursued by ASEAN. To share the future together, we need to be friends who understand each other. To this end, we will expand the multi-level people-to-people interactions between the heads of the state, between governments, between business, and between students. First of all, during my term, I will visit all 10 ASEAN countries and I will deepen and widen our friendship. Frequent encounters and exchanges among the people will be a starting point. We will review the improvements of visa systems so that ASEAN citizens can get easier access to Korea. The government sponsored scholarship and traineeship for ASEAN will be drastically expanded. We will continue to provide support for TVET, technical vocational education and training for the capacity building of ASEAN MSME workers. I hope that young people from both sides will study and exchange together and grow together as future leaders. Last September, 
the ASEAN Culture House was established in Busan City, my hometown. This is the first of its kind among ASEAN dialogue partners. At the house, you can find the words only digitized Angkor Wat Temple. It will contribute greatly to enhance Koreans' understanding of ASEAN and further promoting exchange between Korea and ASEAN. The ASEAN Korea Center established in 2009 supports the advancement of ASEAN companies into Korean market through trade fairs and business meetings. In addition, the ASEAN Korea Business Council and the Mekong ROK Business Forum will be more active in promoting exchange among business leaders. The government will set up an interagency task force to provide comprehensive support to ASEAN for Korean business. We will strengthen the support functions and organizations of overseas diplomatic missions in ASEAN for Korean business. Second, we will create a peace lobbying community where all our people feel safe. 500,000 ASEAN citizens reside in Korea, while 6 million Koreans visit ASEAN each year. The expansion of people-to-people -people exchange and economic cooperation makes safety and peace important to each other. I propose that we further develop the current community where we share co-prosperity into community where we share peace and stand by each other in times of crisis. Such community will evolve into an important pillar together with countries around the Korean Peninsula in leading our efforts for Asia's peace. To this end, I will further enhance defense and security cooperation as well as cooperation with the defense industry. In addition, we must respond to North Korea's nuclear and missile provocations, terrorism, violent extremism, cyber threats, and other combined security threats. Third, I'll pursue mutual prosperity so that we can have better lives together. I'll pursue an economic cooperation that brings development and mutual benefits widely to both sides. This is also the philosophy of new government, the people-centered economy. Both sides need to enjoy the shared benefits of free trade. Cooperation should come not in the form of simple investment, but in a form that increases local jobs and that supports the development of the relevant industries by sharing technology. In the development process, Korea has experienced and overcame numerous iterations of trial and error. For the ASEAN countries that are striving for growth, Korea is the best partner to share the experiences with. There will be infinite areas of cooperation between ASEAN and Korea. But of the many, I would like to present you with the four Korea areas of cooperation, which can increase the regional connectivity that the ASEAN countries pursue. The first cooperation area is transportation. Currently, Korea is building a metro in Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh of Vietnam and light railway in Jakarta of Indonesia. Seoul City's subway is surely the world's finest metro system and was constructed as a solution to the big city traffic problem which Korea faced in the course of economic development. Korea would like to work together with ASEAN to resolve the overcrowding and traffic problems of ASEAN's big cities. As for the ASEAN's interstate high-speed railway, its constructions will also accelerate regional integration. Korea has accumulated experiences in the constructions and operation of an excellent high-speed railway system, and I would like to share this knowledge with the ASEAN countries that are interested in. The second area of cooperation is energy. Korea is currently pursuing power plant constructions cooperation in Vietnam, Indonesia, Malaysia, and Philippines. As parties to the Paris Climate Change Agreement, ASEAN and Korea can cooperate more in the energy sector. I have high hopes that Indonesia's 
Energy Self-Reliant Island Project in Batam will display the future of renewable energy cooperation. The third cooperation is in the area of water resource management. Korea is participating in development of Lower Hueruang River Basin Development Project in Thailand, Senamnoi Hydropower Project in Laos, Hydroelectric Power Plant in Luzon, and the Waterworks Project in Bulacan, Philippines, and Karian Serupong Waterworks Projects in Indonesia. Under these projects, Korea will also provide efficient water resource management and business know-how. The fourth area of cooperation is in the field of smart ICT. Building on the world's best ICT infrastructure, Korea is actively promoting intelligence informatization, smartization, and digitalization of industries. We will begin the pilot service of what will form the foundation of the fourth industrial revolution, the fifth mobile communication network at the Pyeongchang Olympic Games, and will also support Indonesia with this technology at the Asian Games next year. Korea is focusing on creating a variety of smart cities. We'd like to participate in the constructions of smart nations of Singapore, and share that experience with other countries. Economic cooperation can be expedited when there is a sufficient financial backing. Korea will also significantly increase its ASEAN-related funds. We will double the size of ASEAN-Korean Cooperation Fund to $14 million per annum by 2019. The Mekong-Korea Cooperation Fund will see significant three-fold increase from the current level. I'll also encourage business to benefit more from free trade by using ASEAN-Korea FTA Cooperation Fund. I'll also exert efforts so that we will be able to achieve our bilateral trade volume to $200 billion U.S. dollar by 2020. I will also contribute an additional 100 million US dollar to ASEAN by 2020 by raising the Global Infrastructure Fund for the core areas of cooperation that I propose today. Honorable business leaders of ASEAN, this year marks the 50th anniversary of ASEAN, the 20th anniversary of ASEAN Plus 3, and the 10th anniversary of ASEAN Korea FTA. After this meeting, I will meet with the ASEAN leaders and invite discussions based on my initiatives. Along with the resolve of the leaders, what is important is the participation and cooperation of the people of both sides. In particular, of crucial importance is the interest and cooperation of the business leaders. The Korean government will actively support the business leaders so that they can finally explore business opportunities. Three months from now, Korea's Pyeongchang will host the Winter Olympic and Paralympic Games. Korea is making thorough preparation to deliver the message of reconciliation and peace through Olympics. State-of-art ICT technologies such as torch-bearing robots, autonomous driving buses, 5G mobile communications, and terrestrial ultra-high-definition broadcasting service will be introduced. Please. Ladies and gentlemen, visit us in Pyeongchang, Korea. Please enjoy the beautiful winter seasons and diverse culture of Korea. Discover cutting-edge technologies and identify new business opportunities. I'd like to very much appreciate your interest and support. Thank you.